Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some brand new information today about some new packs that are coming to FIFA 22 Ultimate Team very soon. Kind of, again, going in line and going along with what this Team of the Year warm-up series promo is all about with saving packs for Team of the Year and EA dropping some pretty juicy packs. And we have a couple new ones to talk about today, which are getting even juicier, right? We have some big time packs that are going to be added into this game pretty soon. It sounds like based off of some leaks and also a foot hero player pick SBC also rumored to be coming soon. That's going to be interesting. I think some of these SBCs could be coming out as soon as today on Tuesday, but also they might not be out for a couple days. So we're going to take a look at all the possibilities with these packs and with these SBCs, how they could impact the market and kind of also what is going on with the market right now. As a lot of people um, have actually bought some cards on this game because we had the big crash over the weekend. Now some cards have kind of rebounded up a bit as people thought that might have been the low point. But now with some more content coming that could be pretty interesting and could try to drain some more coins off this game, could we see more prices dropping later on this week. So we're going to talk about all of that in today's video. If you're enjoying the uploads on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. And if you didn't check out last night's upload about some of the best team of the year investments, again, with the market continually being shaken up every single day on this game, there's a lot of investments we can make for team of the year. So if some of these SBCs come out, make sure you check out that video for some more helpful tips. I'll link it up right here. So let's get into these packs because there's some big ones, right? And these packs, this is the sort of thing that EA has been doing with this promo and they've been doing it so good, right? With the 83 plus attacker, midfielder and defender packs, they want you to feel like you're going to miss out if you don't do those SBCs and they are raising the bar with another pack, just like we have seen, but a higher level an 85 plus instead of an 83 plus times three. Now, originally they were going to be in the store, but as our leaker here says, they are going to be in SBCs. Now, the thing that makes me very, very interested about this is we have the 83 plus SBCs available in the game right now, but they are set to expire today. So if you're wondering what these new packs are, it's basically just the 85 plus packs um, version of what we have already had in this game that was the 83 plus, right? So we've had the 83 plus defender, midfielder, and attacker. I think that since these expire today on Tuesday, I think today would be the perfect day for EA Sports to drop the 85 plus version of this and to up the ante a little bit and drop this SBC. Now let's talk about this, right? How much would this sort of SBC cost? You know, the 83 plus upgrades were about, you know, uh, 15, 16, 17,000 coins a piece. We've already had an 85 plus times three earlier this year, an 85 plus triple, triple upgrade, which was actually like last week or two weeks ago, and it was 58,000 coins. Now, fodder's a bit more expensive, and since this SBC at the time was a, I think it was an, yeah, 84 rated squad with two informs, if they did this SBC that was specifically per position and made it those same requirements, an 84 squad with two informs or at the moment, uh, would cost you a pretty penny, right? 84s are four and a half thousand coins a piece. You add two informs on top of that. I mean, you're looking at probably like 60, 70,000 coins, in my opinion, especially with the amount of people that have been doing the 83 plus packs um, when they get released. So many people have been doing those, right? I think even more people would want to go out and do this. Now, since I think this is coming today, I have gone ahead and actually club stocked a few of these cards. I've, I've club stocked some 84s and some 85s. I think this SBC is going to be in the range, kind of like this 85 times 3 was. I think it's going to be somewhere in the 50 to 75,000 coin range, and it might be pushing 75K because, again, this is the type of SBC that everybody wants to do on this game because it gives you again that uh, fear of missing out if you don't do the SBC then oh my goodness you might not pack a team of the year player so that's a big thing and I think this is going to come today I really do if it doesn't I'd be a little surprised uh, because I feel like that would be the perfect SBC to put out either today or on Thursday I guess um as we head into Friday with team of the year. So I would watch out for this in the next couple of days. Everybody's going to want to do these. Seriously, these are going to make the SBC fodder market move up in price. I almost guarantee it because look at what 83s have done after a couple of days of the 83 plus upgrades. They've gone from 850, 900 coins up to like 1.5, 1.6K. Some 83s are like 2,500 to 3,000 coins, uh, depending on their links and stuff like that for chemistry. So 
this is a big SBC and I think this one might have the first impact. I don't think this SBC would crash the market by itself, but I think it would devalue a few cards on the game a little bit. Now, the next SBC that is leaked to come that should be pretty soon as well, this one could impact the market a little bit more, maybe still not as much as the icon player pick, but a foot heroes player pick SBC is confirmed to be coming as well. Just like the icon player pick, it's going to be one of three players um, and most likely to be repeatable, right? What this really feels like is it feels exactly like the base or mid icon player pick that was just dropped, right? A repeatable SBC that EA would put out for a couple weeks that we would be able to craft and put our duplicates and our SBC fodder into as all of us are opening packs during team of the year. This would be one of those SBCs that we could just chuck some of that fodder into and then have a chance at packing a foot heroes player from this SBC, just like the, the player picks for icons that we've seen, right? That's kind of why I think, and I, I think he's right here, and he says most likely to be repeatable, but not confirmed. It would make sense, right? That it would be repeatable because it's a player pick, just like the icon that they dropped. Um, I could really, really see this happening 100%. I mean, I could see this happening today, either today or on Thursday as well. I would expect to see this SBC. Now, what's the price of this one gonna be, right? Of course, you've only got a couple heroes on this game that are really desirable, right? If you're thinking like, man, they, this, this hero SBC player pick, there's only like four hero cards that I would really wanna get. Yeah, you're kind of right. It's Ginola, Di Natale, Abedi Pele, and Cordoba, right? Those are your main heroes that people would be most interested in. Now, with this player pick being leaked, you've seen Di Natale drop in price. He's a million coins flat right now. It's down 70K from where he was. Uh, you've seen Di Natale, who was 300,000 coins. He has dropped in price. I, think, I believe he's like 298 uh, or, or 280 or 290 or something like that at the moment. He's dropped like 10, 20K in price because people are fearing this SBC coming out today. I think it would make sense if it came out today, um, but the 85 plus and the hero on the same day, that would be kind of crazy. So I know that there's not very many cards that are available from this. And you may be like, man, Nate, again, there's only like four really good cards that are available, right? Cordoba, Di Natale, Abedi Pele, Ginola. Um, you know, those are the guys that you want, right? But the thing is, there's not very many heroes in the game, right? There's not very many. So this SBC, even though it's a player pick of three, you're getting a choice of three players, from a very, very smaller player pool than what you are for an Icon SBC. So the only downside to this is there's a lot of heroes in here that are like discard, right? Algebra, Cahill, Dempsey, they're like 15,000 coins. You know, a lot of these cards, unless you hit a, uh, a Betty Pele again, Ginola, Cordoba, or Di Natale, maybe Joe Cole is decently usable, Morientes possibly, and um, Robbie Keane still has a little bit of value in this game. Before they, evidently there's still, you know, plans to upgrade these cards or to release higher versions of heroes, but that has not happened yet. So for now we have these cards, but you know, yes, there's not a ton of hype cards out of this, but hopefully EA priced this SBC right. That's going to be the key for this one. Although since it is a player pick, you kind of look back like, man, when we had hero upgrade packs earlier this year, how much did they cost? Most of them were around the 200,000 coin price range. We had one that was a lot cheaper at 119K, uh, but I think this was just released when SBC fodder was really low. This was released in late November um, and it was like 100 to 118K. So... Um, we'll have to see where this price point comes in because since it's a player pick, especially with the icon player pick, we saw this one be a lot more expensive than a normal icon SBC. So I would imagine that this foot hero upgrade player pick would probably be somewhere around the range of that 150 to 250,000 coin range. But again, it's a lower tier SBC. If you're trying to hit a Ginola or a Di Natale, a Betty Pele or Cordoba, you know, there's potential with that. And I think that SBC, people love heroes, right? People are down because all they see when they look at an SBC like that is, oh my goodness, I could pack Ginola. It's the same thing that people see when they go and open an icon pack, right? Oh my goodness, I could pack R9 or Pele or Cruyff, you know, or Ronaldinho. And so there's less choices that you can get from the hero, but there's still some really insane cards that a lot of people would want to get in their teams. And people just love doing the gamble packs just for the sake of potentially getting one of the cards like this, right? So I think that SBC, if it's around 200K, could create another opportunity for people to sell some cards and you would maybe see some cards get sold off a little bit more 
on this market. So those are the two big SBCs that are kind of looming out there that I think we would see in the immediate future. Um, I could see those happening really soon. Now there's one more pack that has been leaked. This one's very interesting. Um, it's kind of going along similarly with what the packs we've seen before um, with like the 81 plus, 83 plus and all of that. 81 plus times 11. Now that's a big pack, 81 plus times 11, that's a lot of players. Now uh, it has not been added to the code yet, but it is a pack, so it should be added to the code very soon. If it's not added to the code, like right now as I'm recording this video late Monday night into Tuesday morning timeframe, then I doubt it's gonna be coming today. Maybe this happens during team of the year and a lot of these guys who were leaking these SBCs, they said that they're not entirely sure that these are coming during this foot warmup season promo, but I mean, it would really make sense for them to drop specifically the 85 plus times three and the foot heroes player pick. I think those are almost hundred percent to be coming before Friday of this week. Now for this 81 times 11, I really don't know about that. I still would expect it to come before Friday because again, this whole promo is about stacking packs and warming up to team of the year. So that's another one. Don't know if it's going to be an SBC or an objective or a pack in the store. That'd be crazy if that was a pack in the store. Um, but, you know, that's another one that is uh, going to be coming out soon on this game. So those are the packs, right? And those are some pretty insane packs. Again, I think the ones that are going to have the biggest market impact would be the 85 plus times three. And I think you would see potentially that SBC today. And a lot of people would want to go out and buy some cards to do it. So, you know, I think a safe bet to be doing, like I have done this myself, is I've kind of gone out and just club stocked a few 84s, 85s. I've got some 88s and 89s still in the club uh, that I could potentially do some SBCs with, but like going out and buying some of these 85s at just 8,000 coins, like if this SBC does come, then I want to have some of these in the club. It says Rashford's 8.2K. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll pass on that one, but I'll go buy a DeVry maybe. He's like eight and a half thousand coins or 8.2K. So I'm kind of, I'm stocking up on a few of these because of course, if they drop the 85 plus, then they're going to drop the attacker, the midfielder and the defender. And I would like to be able to do all three. And again, that's what you can see, right? That's where it would affect the market. Instead of an 85 plus times three, um, that's going to be 75,000 coins per SBC times three, right? So that's taking a healthy chunk of coins off of the market, 225K potentially off the market for like everybody on this game. That's where I think you could see the market dropping off. So speaking of the market, where are prices right now? Well, since yesterday on FIFA was kind of a quiet day, you saw some people like, oh my goodness, and we, we didn't have any like leaks or any information about these new packs. So you saw a lot of people go out on the market and buy some cards up because they were like, I don't wanna miss the low point. I wanna get involved with some of these low prices and there doesn't seem to be a lot of panic selling, right? So you saw guys like this, Lucas Mora, he's about he's back down a little bit right now, but Lucas Mora went from 470,000 coins back up to 515K. A lot of the market rebounded pretty well, honestly, um, especially on cards that are popular in meta. I bought some Twan Zebes uh, at 165,000 coins, and I sold them just a little bit ago in the high 170s, just because I think that there could be a little bit more panic selling coming. Now, I've also bought, like I bought some Serge Nabry headliners, right? As I kind of went shopping yesterday and bought some cards that I thought, you know, were pretty cheap and um, I would like for a potential rise later on. So Serge Nabry, I bought for 170K. You know, he's right now up to 190,000 coins. I'm not going to sell this card right now at the moment, right? He's already up in price. So I'm not going to be selling that. I don't think he's going to drop back down really fast. So I've got some other quick flips inside of here. I bought some Bruno Fernandez and just some other cards, some rare cards in this game that I was trying for a quick flip. But a lot of those cards went up, right? And we take a look at a lot of these prices. Again, that was kind of what happened yesterday is we didn't have insane. We actually had like no content yesterday on Monday except for a pack supply SBC. So people went out on the market and they bought some cards up, right? Hazard is a perfect example of this. He's almost back to 200K. He was 180 all morning, no content, bang, right back up to 190. You take a look on this, this list here, Anthony Martial, he was down at 500 and like 20, 530,000 coins yesterday and bang, up to 560. So a 50,000 coin rise on this card. Uh, one card that I was watching very close yesterday was Gabriel Jesus, the fire item. Look how much he is up right now, 739K. That's up 100K. He was 630, 640 yesterday morning, and he's up to 739. So I know that some of these cards have gone up a decent amount in price, and some of you guys may feel like you have missed the window. Uh, but like we talked about in yesterday's investing video, 
there's going to be multiple up and down points throughout this week where you're going to have opportunities to get in on some cards on this market where there's multiple areas of panic selling. So if a card that you wanted to buy or invest in is maybe up a little bit in price, uh, then you know you might have another opportunity to catch some panic selling on the market with the hero player pick and with the 85 times three because even though that 85 times three is again only 50 to 75,000 coins per times three, right? Because if you're doing it attackers, midfielders, and defenders, if they do it just like the 83 plus, then you know that's going to drain 200k plus from a lot of people's accounts. So I do feel like there is going to be some more panic selling to uh, to be happening on this market. But you know, if you bought some cards at really low prices, like again, if if you bought like Kings of Coman was like 450k and he's up to 492, that was a card I was watching. Right? I don't feel like you really have to go and panic sell any of the stuff that you invested in that has gone up a little bit. Right? That's not what I'm sitting here trying to tell you today. All I'm trying to say is there's going to be another point where you might see some selling and you might have another potential entry point on some of these cards, right? Joao Felix was 530K. He's now up to 565. Um, you know, Di Maria is 353. He's up a little bit more even. Militao was 680. He barely dropped. I bought a Suarez yesterday at 250. I sold him at 275 or something like that. So that's what I'd be watching out for on the market today would be more of that panic selling, right? Again, as we talked about in yesterday's video, finding some cards that you really just wanna put some coins into, whether it's for your team, whether it's for an investment, whatever the reason may be, some of these baby icons as well, there could be some more panic selling on these items in the next couple of days, um, just because of the big SBCs that are coming, right? When EA releases big content that causes people to sell cards to go get that content done, that's why you see the drop in the market. And you're seeing the drop in these hero cards because of that player pick SBC and they're fearing that people are going to pack them. So um, that's why you're seeing the drops on those. But that's kind of the story of the market right now. SBC fodder continues to be pretty high. 88 rated cards are still 30,000 coins. Again, you look at some guys like Holland, he's still 30K. Again, with this, with these more SBCs coming out, if you're somebody that's been holding on to fodder, like, man, I need this to go up a couple more thousand coins, here's another opportunity for you, right? For people to go out and to buy some of this SBC fodder to do SBCs with, it only bodes well for you if you still have any of this SBC fodder that is in uh, your club or any of your investments that you've made. So to, in my opinion, what I would do is if you want to do the 85 plus times three, I would go out and I would maybe stock up on a few of these because seriously, people have a serious FOMO when it comes to these packs and they will do them whatever they cost. The 85 plus times three, if that is today, I would prepare for it. I really would. I'd go out, buy a couple 83s, 84s, 85s. I know they're inflated, but if you don't have the stuff in the club to do the SBCs and you're trying to pack team of the years, the smart thing to do would just be go buy a couple so that you can do a couple, you know, 85 rated squads, maybe an 86 rated squad, depending on what they price it. And then you're good. So that's what I would do with those because I know a lot of us are just trying to pack team of the years. And again, that's going to create more market movements on a lot of these cards. Now, one quick thing that I have heard as well, I think this was from Arcade, who just tweeted this out a bit ago, uh, Fofana won't be in team of the week, according to a leak. So that's why you see this Fofana going down a little bit. Other market movements from yesterday, Rafael Leao and Milan actually lost. So uh, this card dropped off. I don't know where he's at. Let me just look him up on the game. Uh, Rafael Leal, the headliner's item, he was 150,000 coins yesterday. I bought a couple in the 140s, sold them at 157, and they he scored in the game, but they lost 2-1 to one, uh, on a late, late goal. But his card has dropped down a lot, again, because, of course, one thing that I want you guys to remember is that if a team loses, like this Rafael Leal card, he won two games in a row, to get the plus one headliner's streak, they have to win four games in a row. So just because they won two games and lost the third doesn't mean that his next game will count as a third win. That means he is completely reset and Milan have to win another four games in a row in the league to get a plus one upgrade in this card. So that is why you saw Leao drop off a lot yesterday. And I feel like there were people investing in this too because they're like, man, I thought Leao was going to drop down maybe even below 100K at some point, but he kind of stopped here at 115 and people were investing in him. I saw some people buying him off the market. So I would just be very, very careful with that. And again, as we head into this later parts of this week, continue to watch 
the market and the fluctuations and some of these cards if you want to buy them for your team or if you want to invest in them and you're picking the cards that you want to buy you know there's going to be there's going to be more periods like again we, we see with these packs that are potentially coming out there's there's really not going to be a really push up on the market as a lot of people won't be going out and just spending loads of coins on buying cards for their teams until later on this weekend i think it's going to be friday when we actually have team of the year cards supposedly in packs that's when you'll start to see this stuff going up and you'll start to see the market really take off so we have a few days un uh, until then of course so just continue to watch the content and don't feel like you missed out because you didn't right you didn't you didn't miss out on the market rise man i bought two van purchase today at 6 30 if that's six 51 sells, then my two cards that I've got listed at 680 are going to be the cheapest ones. And I really, really want those to sell, man. So kind of hoping for that tonight before we get into uh, the new day today on Tuesday, before maybe some of these SBCs do come out. So keep an eye on the market. Continue to watch player prices if you're wanting to invest, because I do think you might see some dips in the coming couple days there's probably going to be some more team of the week leaks starting today on tuesday so just be careful with that uh definitely watch the ben yetter headliners cards this is one last shot i'll give to end the video today uh sorry not headliners signature signings ben yetter had the headliner last year keep an eye on this card because um one little bit of information i want to give you is if ben yetter gets in team of the week there is going to be an 86 rated Ben Yedder in the team of the week. It will not be as good as this card, but it's going to be one fifth of the price. So just like we saw with the signature signings Atal, when the Inform 84 Atal came out, even though it was not as good as the signature signings card, it was close. So the signature signings version got sold off incredible amount. So be very careful as I'm trying to look for the 84 at all right here. Um, be very careful if we do get a Ben Yetter inform this week, even though the SS Ben Yetter is down, the signature signings one. Uh, I think that it, this one could drop further because the just how cheap the brand new team of the week Ben Yetter is going to be and how it won't be super crazy different stat wise uh, from this one. So just be very careful with that. If this is a card that you're looking into and wanting to get, that's just a specific situation that I wanted to point out uh, right here in this video. So there's going to be more insane packs coming. I'm starting to craft. I've got some cards my unassigned because I've been doing the 81 plus packs and I am continually crafting those, draining my coins into that. But hopefully it all is worth it by packing some team of the year cards. So that's the video for today, boys. I want to talk about these big time SBCs and how they could really impact the market a decent amount over the next couple of days when they get dropped. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to put a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.